All right, so we got an interesting one for you today. We're playing t Turkey Burgers, or more specifically, tur Turkey Burgers TFC. Now, the original Turkey Burgers was a Half-Life Deathmatch map that was a conversion of the Sin map uh, Spry demo. I'm not sure if that map was just in the Sin demo or in Sin itself, since I never played it. The original creator of Spry demo was Level Lord. I, I forget the full guy's name, but if you type in Level Lord, you'll find his Wikipedia article. Pretty well-known map designer. So anyway, someone named Steve Martin decided to take that map and put it into Half-Life, and then later decided to add in some extra ammo supplies and med kits for Team Fortress Classic to more to accommodate like the differences in gameplay. So yeah, this is the TFC version, also done by Steve Martin. Um, I do remember playing this in Half-Life. I've never played the Team Fortress Classic version, but I have some very distinct memories of, uh, maybe not distinct, but I have some pretty good memories of having played this on, in uh, Half-Life. And this is a ladder, apparently. Fair enough. So yeah, the gimmick here is, is I don't know why it's called Turkey Burgers, to be completely honest. I think that's just a name. But it's basically, you're a little dude. You're a little person in a giant world. And yeah, it's deathmatch. That, that's basically it. So let's show it out. I'm going to show you all around. There's a lot of places you can go. I remember a ton of people like liking this map. Spam pack. I like how all the ammo's got little different names. Like I've seen a few people talk about this map before, I swear. I don't know where, but I remember like in the discussions of like favorite game maps, the original Turkey Burgers was on there. So I could be wrong though, because you know, this is kind of a... Something of a common map theme. Not particularly, but, you know. And, like, you know, there's, the, like, the bookshelf here. You can hide. You can go over here. There's walls. It's a very, very complex map. But very good. I don't know how well it works in Team Fortress Classic, obviously. But, yeah, this was great. This is what a 32-player de deathmatch map looks like. This is what it should be. Plenty of room to navigate. Nice and wide open. You know, breathing space. I re there were tons of weapons in the Half-Life version that you could use, so. Yeah, this is good stuff. I guess it does take a while to move around, though. It'd probably be best to play as the, like, the end, like, the soldier here. By the way, this texture is unused in Half-Life. That was, uh, every texture in this area, I think besides the computer, is from Half-Life. Even then, that might not be true. That could be from Half-Life as well. This hurts you, I believe. Or maybe it doesn't. I like how everything's arranged so, like, you know, us little wee soldiers. Have you seen the movie Little Soldiers? Yeah, that has no bearing on anything. I just wanted to bring that up. Um, anyway, I like how it's all been arranged so we can move around. I'll show you the teleporters in a second. like these pencils. That's quality. I, I, I want to say I can go up here, but I don't... Eh. All right, the collision on these is a little bit ass. I'm going to be completely honest here. But yeah, there's a teleporter if you need a quick getaway back to here. I'll just fall. I recommend if you play the Half-Life version of this, which I may show off at some point, don't play it with the realistic fall damage on. Absolutely just play it with the, uh, like the normal fall damage where it's like 10 per fall. You're going to have no fun playing this map with that, like any other setting. So I don't know if this is anyone. Like if this is, maybe this is from some movie I just don't know of. I'm pretty uncultured. I, I wish all mice still looked like that is a freaking mouse. That is beautiful. This should be in a friggin' museum. You got a printer, which are the spawn of the devil. And then you got the table over here, which I didn't show off. I kind of showed off everything. The bookshelves are mostly the same. Same with the areas behind each, like, you know, behind the bookshelves. And then you got a glass here, which is a very, this is a very angular glass. I, I can't help but feel that drinking out of this wouldn't be too comfortable. And then you got a couch. So yeah, let's get some action going. I don't know if this actually works at all, this, like, med kit. I would imagine it wouldn't, because we're probably too small to activate all the buttons. I guess I'll show down here real quick. I don't believe this teleporter goes anywhere we haven't already been. But let's, let's take a peek anyway. Yeah, just another way up here. Anyway, let's get started. Been set up here. Have some friends. Yeah, everyone, you kind of, if you all join at once, yeah, you're going to spawn kill each other. That's unfortunate, but oh well. Anyway, let's do this. See, this already works way better than a lot of the other Half-Life maps I showed off so far. 
because, you know, we're all randomized spawn still. But there's actually some room to figure stuff out. You might actually even be able to, as the engineer, to build some stuff if you really wanted to. I don't think they will because they're a little bit goofy, but, you know, it does seem like a possibility. Yeah, snipe, man. I got you. Don't go down there. That's not a good second spot. Silly goose. Stay together, never mind.
Yeah, so T, uh, T Turkey Burgers TFC. Um, still pretty, like, mindless and chaotic, but much, much uh, better suited for the kind of game that this is compared to some other maps that I've played.